Hi you guys and welcome back to the Creme Kitchen. We have an exciting new recipe today. I wanted a simple easy wrap that you could do ahead of time for lunches or you could make at the time for dinner and put it in a panini press. Either way it's going to be fabulous. We love Caesar. We love Indian spiced chicken. What about combining the both, right? So let's get started. Starting with the spice mix. I'm gonna start with some garam masala. What does this have in it? I mean, it smells so good. There's cumin in here, there's coriander, you've got cinnamon and cardamom. Everything all in one. And we've got about a teaspoon here into our bowl. The other thing I wanna use, just your good old fashioned yellow curry powder. You can find this anywhere. Let's put two teaspoons in with the garam masala. I love garlic. We need a teaspoon of garlic powder in here. Granulated garlic will work just fine. All right, we've got regular paprika, great color, especially with that curry powder. Teaspoon of that going in. And then, of course, we need some heat. We love heat in this house. Cayenne pepper, you can use a quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna make mine a nice rounded quarter teaspoon because we love it so much. I don't wanna add salt to this. I like salting and peppering the chicken itself and then putting the spice rub on it. I've got my chicken breast here. Boneless, skinless, it's gonna make your life easy. Why am I butterflying these? There's more surface area for the spice mixture and that's exactly what you want to stand out. So starting at like the biggest part of the chicken breast, palm side down, you just work your knife. Voila, onto our platter. And I'm just gonna cut the other three the same way, okay? All right, you guys, look at that. All right, so we have our spice mixture done. We've cut our chicken up. Fabulous. Let's sprinkle some salt on our chicken. And then our spice mixture that we just made. Oh my God, this smells so good. Drizzle with olive oil, and then we're gonna flip over to the other side and do the same thing. So we got the last of our Indian spice on. Drizzle with our olive oil, and we're gonna set this to the side just for a little bit. I want you to do this first, just so all of these flavors can kind of seep into that chicken. We're not necessarily marinating it, but just let it sit. And this helps to kind of get your chicken up to room temperature so that it's not cold when you grill it. So while that does its work, we're gonna make our Caesar for our Caesar salad, Indian spice chicken lettuce wrap. So our quick and easy Caesar. We're gonna start with two garlic cloves. Now look at the garlic cloves. We love garlic. These are huge. I would do anywhere from two to three. This could possibly even be four, but we don't care. We like garlic. So just give it a rough chop and throw it in your food processor. I have a lovely mini food processor here. And you want about a third of a cup of mayo. I, I know for a fact that that is far more than Three quarters of a cup. You want about a third of a cup of mayo? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do math in this house. To that, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of Dijon, and then another teaspoon of a grainy mustard, just for a little bit of texture, a little bit of color, flavor, of course, right? I do not have my white vinegar, is it in here? Let's get about two tablespoons in. I'm gonna grate some fresh Parmesan. So let's talk about anchovies for a second, all right? There are anchovies in a traditional recipe for Caesar, but Worcestershire sometimes is substituted because guess what's in there? Anchovies. 
It's like the American version of fish sauce. Is it American? You want about a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan. It doesn't have to be complicated, but use fresh ingredients, really good ingredients. So let's get our Parmesan in here. And so getting back to the Worcestershire, we're gonna put a teaspoon in. I'm gonna put a couple anchovies in here. If you don't wanna do that, just add another teaspoon of Worcestershire. I'll make it easy on you guys. Last but not least, we have a quarter cup olive oil going in. And what? Lots of freshly cracked black pepper. All right, now all we have left to do, blend this up. Very good. I know it is. Okay, while the pan heats up for the chicken, here's my super cute, really fantastic thing I wanna do. Some of the best Caesar salads I've had in my lifetime has had the best homemade croutons. Get your grater out, and while it's frozen, grate your bread. All right, and before I grate the last one, I'm gonna get my skillet on like a medium to medium high heat. This is about a cup, a little over a nice rounded cup of breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna use a tablespoon each of olive oil and butter in my pan. While the last bit of that butter is melting, I'm throwing in my breadcrumbs. I lightly seasoned with some salt and pepper. We're gonna let that toast up and I'm gonna get my chicken on that grill. All right, so the last step is I have a head of romaine here. I wanna chop this up. And I still have my block of Parmesan out because I wanna finish with some Parmesan cheese. Every wrap needs cheese. I turn the burner off that my chicken was cooking on and I'm just kinda of letting them sit there and rest a bit before I build these wraps. I'm gonna let the chicken cool for just a bit, and then I'll show you the magic of this Indian Spice Chicken Caesar Salad Wrap. All right, the chicken has cooled off a little bit, enough to handle, and then I'm gonna show you what this looks like. The wraps I got, because they're so pretty, I got the spinach and herb wraps. Now, what's so great about this is if you are on a low carb diet, which obviously none of us here are, <laughs> you could use a low carb tortilla and make this all. Just don't put the breadcrumbs in it, but I'm telling you, you want those crispy breadcrumbs. Get your Caesar dressing down first. Put as much as you want, you guys, look at this. Then you wanna sprinkle on your chopped romaine. Parmesan, more cheese. Every wrap needs extra cheese. We'll do it this way, watch. And now we roll. Here's how I roll, pay attention. I take the sides and just kind of tuck them in from the bottom, you lift up. If something comes out, we don't care, we just tuck it back in. Because when you roll, you tuck and you squeeze, just like this. And then what you have when you tuck and roll is this beautiful, magical, look at this, wrap. This is where if you wanted to brush some olive oil on it, you can put it in a panini press, but I am telling you just like this, I'm gonna cut right down the middle, watch and be amazed. 
Doesn't that look gorgeous? The only thing I need to do now is give it a taste test. Sorry, Luke, I have to test it first. The crunch, amazing. The spice on the chicken, you cannot get much better than that. What do you think? Is it what you hope for? Great. Yeah. And really that layer, this, I don't know. You almost have to put that in there. You guys, this was so good. So easy. Any way you like it, it's gonna be fantastic. I'm so happy you were in my kitchen again today. Be looking forward to some fantastic recipes coming up. And if you do make this, send photos, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm gonna find you right back here in my kitchen.